I'm like set up, set, set up in app things. I literally have the, this time, I did the trick. I put a mirror in my pan, which, um, because now I need to see the notifications that I had because I'm recording on the phone. Um, so I basically just do something like that. that, that. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, the, that's how it works, it's all around. The student spirit is still with me. I have earphones and music on because uh, nowadays it just keeps me here. <laughs> yeah, because I'm recording on my phone and I have uh, my tablet. So I'm like multitasking, but basically because today we have a really big topic to discuss. To topic. It's a story time which I was expecting to do in the first place, but I was really hesitant and like waiting for things to work out. Work out. <laughs> today I think will be way easier than it was before with the first video. I, because uh, through the editing, I was um, I knew what uh, I needed to fix and stuff like that. But yeah, and I <laughs> so in the first video I said that I would do a second part, and I did. Um, but when I was editing the first one, I uh, accidentally deleted the other part, like not edited, but like the raw footage from my phone and then it just was it was gone it's a shame because it was a re way better film I think today what we will do would be like a supplement for that so it kind of like at the end of the day it doesn't matter because things will re resolve by itself so hi guys um, this was a long time coming this video or whatever the fuck it will, will be. You saw the title already, clickbaity, but <laughs> I think it deserves to go viral or like any way to get recognizable because it's crazy. Yeah, just like I said, I think this video will clear up many, many things about me and about like what's happened lately because the past month or like month, month and a half, it was probably the most messiest, craziest month that I had mentally. Physically it was fine, but yeah, mentally it was hard, which is really strange for me because I consider to have a really grounded and really strong psyche, psychic, psyche. Psych, whatever. This month really tested me, which never happened before. But yeah, I hope it's recording. You know. I will see on my finger. I'll see you again. <laughs> First thing we need to clear some things up because um, it's really key to understanding the situation and stuff like that which I addressed, addressed in the previous video that went never live mainly we need to clear three things up, three main key things uh, here because um, yeah, it's really important so you need to, to know about me that I'm delusionally bisexual That's a thing, you know already I'm also a, a psy psychotic person and uh, my main hobby right now is escorting. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of information at once, confusing and stuff like that, but it will make sense later, basically. I didn't know that editing was this fun though, but yeah. That's the random thought. 
because today I consider a judgment day for me because it really will decide next next days, next weeks for me what will be happening especially tomorrow I think, yeah I did like five, 400 screenshots and stuff like that to like bring you guys the context which I will put like next to me because it will be easier to read it's not my coming out video unless it will be like cup like few millions of views or whatever oh yeah disclaimer overall what I will be showing you like the screen the screenshots or whatever uh, the content will be extremely uh, offensive, racist, um, homophobic, like everything that you need, you can think of, considering the offensive stuff. Because, and I'm like not explaining myself at all, and my mind was really messy and chaotic, so it would be like a really graphic texts. I mean, it's not even graphics, it's just fucking text, it doesn't matter, for me at least. I mean, it matters. So, the whole thing started um, on the 16th of October, basically. It was the day that uh, my um, profile on the escorting site, whatever, was approved by admin to contact other people, like people con could contact me and like uh, my information was there to like visible so basically yeah after, after a few hours I got a message from a um, guy named Bricks Bricks it really describes uh, <laughs> the character or whatever but yeah and I was like who, who the hell has my number it's like I mean many people could have because if you are like applying for the scoring sites and stuff like that usually you need to put out your contact because not not everyone wanna be registered as a client or whatever um, because of really various reasons but yeah so he's like hi how are you doing today and i'm like yeah good like do we know each other it's like the standard stuff right and he's like no we don't i got your contact on the the site <laughs> And he would like to know if I would be be available for a trip to Africa for five days on the November of the 20th of November and what I charge per day and I'm like okay let's pro process this <laughs> after a few hours basically I got the contact like someone contacted me which was is really crazy with something like that it really doesn't happen the, the offer like that it's a really rare situation so I was like oh five days in November basically someone wants to go with me Africa that's not a really good place to go whatever if you don't trust anyone or like you don't know someone that's crazy request like that you can't really uh, think by the charges or whatever like you can't go by the standards or like the face I know by the fact that people f I think charge for the night or whatever like 800 euros just like I think the minimalistic uh, no it's like average average uh, charge they, they do and like for one day like I think 1000 would be fine for me for my standards because uh, other people would call many more many more but yeah so I'm like that seems pretty interesting and they cut me off guard or yeah that was true like it was a really crazy sit situation that suddenly happened but in situations like that you need to act spontaneously and it's just like really and like so 20th of November, yeah I am free, I like explaining things so this actually seems great if we were saying, saying about charging I don't know if 1000 euro per day wouldn't be insane because since I have no idea about the details like tickets and stuff and technical stuff I am crazy for overthinking that yeah 
that was a really uh, good uh, strategy to go with and uh, something got deleted i don't know what at the end of the day but i think it didn't really matter at, at the time and he's like no not is that a fixed price or negotiable a really good thing to ask uh, like if we were putting it out as a reference because if you for me at least if you negotiate the uh, price and like the situation and like stuff like that it's really professional which is really good in this industry industry like i'm not even in industry it's like whatever and he is for uh, are you someone i can trust are you ready for the trip you just want to be sure i won't get disappointed on this trip yeah that's a reasonable thing to do because like for something like that don't fix the camera <laughs> for something like that you need to prepare long time i think like a few months at least like with all the tr uh, tickets visa and like the all other things that you don't do but you need to like provide the information and stuff like that you need to wait like the time is key here so i'm like pretty much negotiable what's your take on it you might not believe your life but i am one of the most brutally <laughs> brutally honest people there I'm like reacting to it now. It's kind of like a reaction to what happened, but I I kind of remember. But and like s some things are bl are like blurred out in my mind. But yeah, brutally honest people there are. But like writing it, like <laughs> that doesn't prove much. So you don't need to believe it for now. What? Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Wait, what what I meant? Oh yeah, like the text that uh, doesn't prove anything. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I know if you put trust on me, the payback is hundred percent mutual. At the same time, I don't want to get scammed or whatever. Since plus two, three, four is number is Nigerian one. Yeah. Oh, that's other thing to know about me. I'm like an informational freak. So basically, if I don't know something and get mad in many ways of, of it possible so basically i need to know everything <laughs> basically like i need to know what is happening why is the reason like every every detail needs to be like straight up cleared up because then i i am comfortable with uh, the informations that i know something and, and something is not uh, hiding or whatever someone like the communication and the information for me is always the number one I am looking for in everything like the work people communication everything for me that's the most that's the key important thing in like the basic basic knowledge the number he texted me was uh, the the starting numbers were um, the Nigerian ones and I'm like, that's pretty much a common knowledge that people from Africa scam people uh, abroad for money and stuff like that. Like, like s everything uh, could happen with uh, these kind of numbers, and uh, it's not really uh, safe to contact these people by any means. I still continued. We just think, okay, well. That was the first of many more <laughs> um, because yeah the number seemed shady to me at least so he's like and i i understand your point on this who talks like that and i promise to not let you down and for the number i traveled to nigeria and this is not the first time i'm going there you won't be scammed because i am also a victim of scams and won't be scammed again by, by someone or scammed by anyone I'm real and not here to joke with you or anyone on this baby. This was the second red flag. Baby? So if you don't know the mentality of people, or Arabic people or whatever, this is racist, but whatever. Um, because I lived for like half year, about half year in Egypt back in the day. So I kind of have like a knowledge of what characters have Arabs. And I, right now I'm living in Paris, so I'm kind of like, I'm spelling things instantly like dear baby honey stuff like that that african guys do initially back in the day it was to lure women with uh, text because w women are 
normally believable as fuck. So that was the second thing. All I want is your cooperation and trust on this trip to make it a reality. Whatever. So I was like, I'm listening, what's the, what's the actual plan? For me it was a really interesting thing. Whatever, if it was scam or not, it was interesting to like at least hear. I want to email about the trip, so it's something. It's like top. <laughs> if you are not uh, from the LGBT scene or whatever, top basically means the position of you are sexually. But it's important for the information to clear things up because um, you need to know beforehand for what you are preparing. Okay, please check your email. I have sent you an email now. Oh, another thing was deleted. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's uh, jump to the email I got from him. 